Hey guys, so my boards came in today from Easy EDA. Well, actually, JLC PCB, which is who Easy EDA outsources to. I designed this board in KiCad. Um, this board allows you to uh, expand the outputs and also drive a higher current up to 500 milliamps per channel, uh, which is higher than the 70 milliamps of the. Uh, shift register. These shift registers that are going to be down here are uh, 74HC595s and SOIC16 packages and uh, up here is where the ULN2003 uh, I'm trying to remember here, there's a suffix to that ULN2003 ADR. Right here, parallel interface. Uh, these, uh, these traces are a little bit fine if these, if the, they cause me problems, I might uh, widen them a little bit, but they don't have a really long run. You'll notice uh, any pad connected to ground has a uh, thermal relief, as does the pads on the ICs, the ground connections. On the back of the board, you'll notice I have a connection guide. These boards were... Uh, 10 pack for $11.99 plus $18 shipping because DHL. And these boards are quite thick. Uh, they are 1.6 uh, millimeter thick boards. Uh, I chose that thickness because A, it was the default, and B, because my Arduino uh, Uno clone is also a 1.6 millimeters, and I thought that was a good thickness, and it wasn't really, it wasn't really expensive at that thickness. If you notice the cutaway around my name, that is because my name is also written down in the copper layer. Yeah. Maybe it's that's a bit extra, but I did that because... Now, the explanation for the SIPO 40H label is SIPO, serial in parallel out, 40 outputs, and uh, H header footprints. Uh, in fact, the only terminal block on this board right now, it's not, well, technically it's not populated, but this is for the terminal block for the 12 volt bus. And uh, if I redesigned this with a terminal block, I'd call it the SIPO 40T for terminal, uh, foot, terminal block footprints. Now, this will be able to interface with uh, Arduino, much like a, a chain of shift registers should. I'm sure there are plenty of libraries for it. It's connected much like you would a shift register, because it's basically these are the control lines. Some of them are common control, uh, because these are daisy-chained, and SIR is um, actually daisy-chained to the next one's SIR, all the way to the output, so you can actually chain these boards together if you really wanted to. Uh, as this is the same as Sir, but Sir out, so I called it Daisy. Um, and they're at the same level, so it's easy to just jumper some wires and solder them all together. Yeah, let me see if I can show you that. So you just jumper some wires across here. You'd still have to chain the 12 volt together or have it on a b common bus manually because the traces, the 12 volt trace, which is right here, isn't very uh, fat. It's fatter than the other traces, definitely, because I expected it to carry quite a higher current. But yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you then. Bye!